So uh, we just finished a workout uh, here with Joe in his home gym, and uh, like he said, you know, he was dragging a little bit this morning, but um, once he broke a sweat and focused, you know, just on doing the movements, he came alive, and uh, everything took care of itself after that. So with Joe, the workouts to me um, are not an issue at all. I know that once he motivates himself, you know, he's going to have a great workout because I see how hard he works, and he's always, you know, getting a sweat going on. And he's got all this great equipment in here, so the working out is something that I always know he's, he's going to just knock out. Um, as far as nutrition, I think today's visit uh, here was uh, more about re-emphasizing how it's all about education and continuing to educate ourselves with our nutrition. I've been doing this for 30 years and I'm always learning. I don't claim to know everything. I love to learn. I learned some stuff from Joe you know, uh, on, on uh, in the world of fitness, and um, I still use Lose It as well, even though I have a good idea, I tend to eat the same things. But the purpose is to use Lose It is that if it's two in the afternoon and you look at where you're currently, where you currently are with that day's nutrition, whether you're on your iPhone or your smartphone or your ta uh, tablet or your computer, you can look and see what you need to adjust. Do I need more protein? Do I need less carbs? whatever and for educational purposes you know that is gold most people don't know if you go and ask them how many grams of protein have you had today it's two o'clock you know uh, how many grams of carbs have you had they're gonna say I don't know and if they do they're gonna probably be way off people they have no idea just like Joe mentioned with the muffins if you had told him before that by the time you eat these muffins you will have inhaled 1200 calories he might not have believed that. That's a lot of calories. And for a lot of people, that's a whole day, a small woman, that's a whole day's worth of fuel, you know. So uh, we've talked a lot today about education and just continuing to use these tools that we have available uh, to us. And lose it is a great tool. The other thing is that I mentioned to Joe that, you know, you want to make sure uh, I think we agreed upon a goal, I know we agreed upon a goal, and that was to make sure that we're hitting our macronutrients during the month of May. We're in about the first week of, month of May here, and um, we were saying, okay, well, I said to Joe when I came in, you know, what is your goal? And I wanted him to re-emphasize to himself what his goal was. And um, so the goal for May, because I'm a believer, and I know he likes this too, is to break it into small steps. So the goal for May is to make sure that he is hitting those macronutrients. And they are 240 grams of carbs, uh, 200 grams, 180 grams of protein, and then the rest is fat. So I think if he can really focus on that for the month of May and not the scale or anything else, everything is going to fall into place. So. Um, this was a good meeting because we've re-emphasized what a concrete goal is and that's it.